Okay, so this question has got a 3D picture of a box, um, so it's kind of highly likely to be about 3D coordinates. So a cuboid has been shown uh, right down the left of the point with the coordinates of 0, 1, 3. Yep, so 3D coordinates. Now what we have to remember about 3D coordinates is that they are made up of three numbers, an X number, a Y number and a Z number. And there's always going to be a centre point that we start at, which is 0, 0, 0. And we always follow in the order of the letters uh, X direction, then the Y direction, and then the Z direction. Now you've got to watch for this because um, the 3D grid could be written in different orders. Sometimes we see X, Y, and then the Z is the one coming out of the paper. So again, you've got to follow the order of the letters X, Y, Z, and follow those directions to do your coordinates properly. So let's have a look at what we said. Write down the letter of the point with coordinates 0, 1, 3. So we always start at the centre and we follow the edges of the box to help us decide where we're going with this topic. So it's telling us to go 0 on the Z, on the X, sorry. So we haven't moved, so we're still here. It's telling us to go 1 on the Y. So in other words, we've come up to this point here. We've gone 1 on the Y. So we're there so far. And then it's telling us to come 3 on the Z direction. Now the Z direction is going in that direction. So we count along because so we're at the top of the box. So 1, 2, 3. So we've ended up at this point here. So the letter where we've got to is Q. So we started at 0. We didn't move because the X number was 0. We then went up to the top of the box because the Y number says go to 1. And on the top of the box every Y number is 1. And then it tells us to go Z3. So 3 then we came in the Z direction and we came along to this point here which is above 3 on the Z axis. The next part of the question says work out the coordinates of the midpoint. Well, we have to remember there's a rule for finding the midpoints of coordinates, and basically the rule is add the two coordinates. Then have to find midpoint. So add the two coordinates and find find with well we've got two coordinates here, we've got P. So let's see where P is. Um, P on this diagram is that's interesting. There is no P. Oh, it is. It's there. Look. Okay. Good. So P. All right. So to get to that point, then we start at the centre always, and we go along the x direction first. So this is on this side of the box. So that means we had to come to here to get onto this side of the box. So the x coordinate for P is two. We then had to go to the top of the box because P is on the top. So we had to come up to 1 on the Y. That got us to S. And then P is at the front of the box, which has a Z of 3. So the P coordinate along there, up there, along here. So we've ended up at Z3. The R coordinate, well, R, we had to move nothing along the X. So that's going to be 0. We had to move to the top of the box to get to R, so that's going to be 1, because the top of the box is at Y of 1. But we didn't have to move in the Z direction because we're already there, so the Z coordinate will be 0. The rule says that we add those two coordinates together, so 2, 2, 3. We then divide by 2 to get the midpoint. In other words, we want to be in the middle of where the line joining P and R would be. So if we half 2, we get 1, half 2, we get 1, half 3, we get 1 and a half. So the coordinate would be 1, 1, 1 and a half. Now we should check that that works. So the coordinate's telling us to go across to 1. It's telling us to go up to 1. And then it's telling us to come 1 and a half along here. So 1 on the x, 1 on the y, 1 and a half on the z. So that seems to confirm that that coordinate is correct. So that's a quick review of 3D coordinates.